Good Saturday. It's Memorial Day weekend and we are kicking off here with temperatures warming up. We'll start off our Saturday with highs in the low 90s for the valley. Now for the Friday temperature high was about 88 degrees. The average this time of year is 83, so we are still well above average and where we should be this time of year. But the record 102. We're going to be far from it for today, but moving into Sunday, we are expected to break a record in Sacramento. We'll get to that in just a sec. Let's continue on here. Now, starting on Sunday, we're going to see an excessive heat warning uh, start to uh, kick off that Sunday at noon. This goes until Tuesday night, 8 p.m. You're looking all the way at the California Oregon border, all the way down, Redding, Red Bluff, all the way into Sacramento, all the way down to Bakersfield. It is going to be an extremely hot weekend ahead again kicking off Sunday as this will take effect. But of course 90 is still on Saturday is pretty warm. The heat advisory also going to be in effect on Sunday until 9 p.m. on Monday for areas of the coastal range towards San Francisco and just a little further inland as we see near areas of Patterson. Now we will expect to see these hot temperatures uh, really lasting at least three days and then after that we're still going to be in those mid to upper 90s. So it's still going to be very warm. We're just really drying out now. The warmer above average temperatures that start off today is pretty much the extent of the coolness we're going to feel this week with low 90s. Everything after today is going to be mid to upper 90s and then continuing into the hundreds. Now showers and thunderstorm chances. I know that's a hard thing to throw into the mix when you're talking about all this heat. But we do have the chance to see some showers that will be pushing through just with a very slight system east of us that could have an impact over areas and or graphically up near our areas of the foothills and Sierra. As we start to heat up, we're also going to add more moisture into the air. The heat rises, obviously, and when you do it over an area of orography, or we call an inclined into the foothills in the Sierra, that's where we start to see more moisture rise as well. It kind of gets trapped overhead. We could see some showers and then potential just because of how hot it is to see thunderstorm chances also involved with those showers. Now, this is going to be closer to about anywhere from about 435 to about 7 p.m. And again, only for the Sierra. Everyone else going to remain dry in the valley, dry into the coastal range as well as toward the Bay Area. Very hot Memorial Day weekend as well as the week ahead. So here's what we're looking at. We've been dealing with drought conditions really since we've started the year off. We continue to talk about it, but what we're looking at is a drastic change. I want you to take a mental note of this photo here, and we'll do a side to side comparison for you. Just riding all the way to Sacramento and into San Francisco is that dark, dark shade there of that uh, red. That's exceptional. 26 percent exceptional. We're also looking here at areas just east of Fresno. So of 26 percent say exceptional in a drought. Then we look at the really the difference here between the left May 20th just a week ago to now the current. You can see just how huge that area is that extends up north compared to just the North Bay and areas right around uh, Napa, Santa Rosa area. So it's just such a difference one week has made from where we typically should be this time of year when it comes to water, snowpack falling into our reservoirs and all of that that has impacted our state so much. We're going into the summer months so dry at this point. The biggest concern is one, we don't have as much water that we need to sustain us to continue on. We can't go through another year of this kind of drought. But also one of the bigger concerns here is how dry we are because of the drought. We have dry grasses. The winds pick up. They continue to dry them out. The heat also adds to the drying effect. So if anything sparks, it's going to move rapidly, especially if we have winds in place. So that's one of the biggest concerns we have when we start going into these months, starting Memorial Day and into the summer. And we start to see the heat really have an impact on us so early in the season. Now, I want to talk about Sunday record temperatures that could be possible because Redding all the way to Sacramento could see some record temperatures. Now, Redding 104 is the forecasted temperature, 105 is the record, so they could get very close to that. And some spots may even beat that. Sacramento 101 forecast, 100 is the record, so we could very well beat that as uh, we are forecasted to. Now, Stockton Modesto in the mid 90s for Sunday, so not quite as close to the record temperatures. Of 101 to 103, but hey, things could happen. All right, I want to talk about the signs of heat stroke because with all of this heat moving on from Sunday into next week, we are going to start seeing a lot of people getting injured, getting sick, being outdoors too long, thinking they can handle something they can. And this also includes caffeine and alcohol that really dehydrates you as something you really want to look out for and look out for your neighbor. Make sure everyone's staying hydrated and safe. Now, one of the first signs is nausea and dizziness. If you start feeling that right away and then you stop sweating, that's a 
really bad combination. Not only you, you start looking at signs of heat exhaustion first, and then it goes straight into heat stroke. And this is really what you want to avoid. The uh, portion where you stop sweating is when you start knowing you're getting into a heat stroke. A severe headache and mental confusion. If you're not really aware of where you're at in this stage and what's going on, uh, you really need to get indoors, start cooling down, and you may have to even seek medical attention by the time you get to the heat stroke portion of uh, staying outdoors and being dehydrated and dealing with all that heat. So please, everyone, be careful this Memorial Day weekend. I know a lot of people want to head outdoors due to the pandemic. We've all been cooped up, and you just want to enjoy yourselves and do so. I do agree. Agree. Everyone should enjoy. Just be careful. Make sure you're taking care of each other. High pressure system that's overhead is what's really starting to cause all of the heat to begin starting tomorrow. This is going to start digging the jet stream further north creating a huge arch over most of the western U.S. And it's not just us in California, but Washington, Oregon, going to be dealing with temperatures they're not used to this time of year. They're going to be seeing mid-80s to low 90s for us. We've been seeing it for quite a while, but for them, a lot of those places don't even have air conditioning, and so it's going to be a pretty big effect for them. This circulation of high here is what's also starting to bring in a bit of the stronger winds for today. We'll see them picking up 10 to 15 miles per hour in the valley, 25 through the delta. That's also because we have a little bit of a disturbance over Nevada. Meanwhile, the high pressure system still building. So the combination there is going to bring us some of those windier conditions today. Now here is the shower chances and thunderstorm chances we were talking about that could be moving through. You're seeing it here at 5.30 p.m. and then starting to scatter on out. Mostly sunny skies. We get a few higher elevation clouds every now and then. Otherwise, we're really staying away from most of that moisture as well as any potential for rain in the forecast. Let's talk about the breezy uh, conditions here. I don't like to say too windy or strong winds because really we've been dealing with 10 mile per hour winds. It's pretty natural for us. And we're going to see that today to about 15 mile per hour winds in Fairfield, but they do pick up by the evening hours 15 miles per hour from 10 to 15 in the valley and then up to about 24, 25 mile per hour winds in Fairfield moving into the evening hours. Well, let's talk about the temperatures for the foothills because I know a lot of these areas usually are much cooler than the valley, which is nice, but we're actually going to start heating up for a lot of people in the foothills. Jackson snore in the mid 80s, upper 80s in Ione. We're looking at 85 in Auburn, 86 Quincy and by tomorrow you might as will add an additional 10 degrees to what you're seeing on your forecast for your Saturday because temperatures are pretty much increasing anywhere from 7 to 10 degrees Sunday. 77 in Palo Kai, 76 Truckee, South Lake Tahoe cooler, and then we'll expect 80 degree temperatures up high in the Sierra. So wow, it's really going to start heating up even as you start moving up in elevation. Mid 80s in Antioch, Fairfield, 71 in Napa, 58 in San Francisco, and we'll also expect those mid to upper 80s, a couple low 90s there, Patterson, for the high today, Saturday, for our areas of San Joaquin Valley, 90 in Sacramento, 87 in Elk Grove. And then here's where it starts getting a little dicey. 101 on Sunday. Then we jump another about 5 degrees Monday. As we get to 106, the hottest day of the week, this heat wave extending into Tuesday and even possibly Wednesday as the temperatures Wednesday still in the upper 90s. So really hot there. We finally get back into those mid-90s as we start moving back into next week.